What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna and I am a recovering addict. I have been sober since December 27th of 2019, but I have been in recovery since September 27th of 2016. And today I put a poll up on Instagram a couple days ago and y'all said that you wanted me to do a review of the Colored Rain Juicy Boost palette. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a first impressions look and then a little bit of a review. We'll get some swatches in. And yeah, we'll just play in some makeup today. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So this is the Juicy Boost. You could either get it in like a booklet form where it was a square palette like this, and then you could flip, or you could do the flat lay, which is what I did because the square palette was, it didn't work well with my ADHD. I needed to see everything. So I got the flat lay. When you order the palette, it did come with this cute brochure. It shows you all the other things in the collection. So there's like a tumbler, an umbrella, and like I said, you can get the book. But then inside it had cute little juicing recipes and then the benefits of all the ingredients in the juice it's are. So I thought that was very cute, a nice little touch. I have never used a Colored Rain product before. Just off the bat, I can tell you I like the packaging. It's very heavy. It feels like it's worth the money. This palette does retail for $54. When you take it out of the unit carton, it looks exactly the same in the front. And we have 18 shades. That's about right for a higher end or indie brand higher end. Um, so yeah, I think $54 is worth it. But here is the color story. So the other reason I went with this one is it did everything in rows. So you have your oranges on the bottom, your reds and pinks in the middle, and then blues and greens up top. That works better for the way my brain sees things. So that is why I went with this one. It is a mostly matte palette. We have 15 matte shades and then these three shimmers. I'll be honest, I bought this palette for the oranges. I have been looking for orange palettes and I have a really hard time finding anything with a good amount of oranges. Like even the Morphe 3503, it's a lot more red and pink based. Um, the Orange You Glad from ColourPop, it just, it had like too many browns in it, but this had like three oranges and then a deepening up brown shade. So I honestly bought this palette for the oranges. <laughs> but anyway, let's get some swatches for you guys. All right, so this is the blue and green row from left to right, which is, I just went left to right in the palette. We have Blueberry Burst, Coconut Water, Cucumber Avocado, Mint Leaves, energy boost and kale yeah um this shimmer doesn't have a lot of base pigment to it and then this green here the cucumber avocado it didn't swatch the best but of course swatches don't tell us everything so i will wait and see how it goes on the eyes for the second row we have sweet ruby pink grapefruit cranberry vanilla berry beet watermelon detox and apple strawberry And I don't use any primer on my swatches, so that's why they all kind of, I think that's why they all kind of look the same right now. Um, I'm sure if I use like a white or very light based primer, they would show up. But I do feel like just in swatches, the red row kind of all looks the same. Um, and this will stain. It is a vegan palette. And it does say that these red shades are not for use around the immediate eye area. But I never have any problems when I do it, so. But here you can see that it did stain just a bit. And the yellow and orange row, we have Lemon Wheatgrass, Citrus Singer, Ginger Bay, Turmeric Shot, Orange Carrot, and Sweet Potato Mango. And I have to say this Lemon Wheatgrass, the glitter shade here, the shimmer shade, is my favorite shimmer in the palette. But these oranges are everything that I wanted, so I'm very happy. Anyway, I'm going to pop off camera. I am going to put on my brows and prime my lids and then we will jump back in. I'm definitely going to do an orange look today because I bought this palette to, for the oranges. So we are going to do an orange look today. Um, so just hang with me and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. You can see I have my brows done and my eyelids primed. And the first shade that I'm going to dip into is Turmeric Shot. And I'm going to be picking that up on a Morphe M330, which is just, it's just this domed blender, this domed blender. And 
and I'm just putting that on the outer V and then blending it in. It, this is really easy to blend. Um, there is some kickback in the pan, but I'm not surprised given the type of brush that I'm using. But just, yeah, out of the blue, this is really easy to blend. I really like this shade. In the pan, it looks just like a yellow orange. And on this white base, it is applying with a little bit of a mustard or light brown undertone. Next, I'm going to go into this shade Orange Carrot, which is right here. And I'm going to be picking that up on a Sigma E38. This does not have as much kickback in the pan, but I'm going to be placing this again on the outer V, but in a little bit so that it doesn't quite go all the way out to the yellow. And then just blend that into my crease. And then I'm just blending the two colors together. This is also a very nice color. And it, this one is coming off exactly how it looks in the pan. And then when it's blending with this turmeric shot shade, it um, it's this rust quality to it. This is really, really pretty. I'm really liking this. So far, I'm really impressed with Colored Rain's formula. Like I said, I've never tried anything before from them. Um, I see them in Target, um, but none of the palettes actually in Target have ever intrigued me. And there have been some that have intrigued me online, but I'm always so nervous to like jump the gun when I don't know anything about the brand. I mean, I know about the brand. I've seen other people use it, but when I haven't experienced it firsthand. Okay, I can't get over how easy these are to blend together. Um, I, I know we're only working with the oranges so far, but it's lovely. Next, I'm going to pick up this shade called Ginger Bay. No real kickback in the pan there either. And I'm going to sweep that over the top of all this here. and just blend it into that more mustard shade. I'm very happy with the pigmentation on this shade. Um, I didn't expect it to be this pigmented because it is a rather light yellow shade. Getting this weird oxidation thing here, I'm gonna try to blend this out a little bit more with that first Morphe brush we used and see if that helps it. I'm trying to go over that again. I don't know why it's doing that. Try to cover it up. I'll be honest, it could very well be that my brushes are just dirty. Um, when I do the other eye, we'll see if it does that too. Yeah, it just has like this weird part right there that's doing that. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's my brushes are dirty. I don't know if it's just something funky going on with my eyelid. I don't know if it's that like the colors aren't really talking together very well there. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and get our crease cut. All right. And I did it by a cut crease brush from Sigma. It's literally called a cut crease brush. This is the E62. And I'm going to be cutting my crease with this brush and some ABH eye primer. Sucks I don't support that brand anymore because so far they've had my favorite eye primer. All right, now that that is dry a little bit, I'm just going to take this like flat shader brush. It doesn't really have a brand. And I like the idea of contrasting colors. So I'm actually going to use this blue shimmer and we'll see how that looks. When I swatched it, it didn't have the most base pigment to it, um, but we will see when it's put on some primer. Oh my god. Way better than the swatch. Holy shit. 
That's fucking pretty. It has the slightest shift to it. I'm getting some fallout. Um, these sh this shimmer is like wet. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. It's so fucking pretty. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, just to get rid of that harsh line, I'm going to go back in with this orange carrot shade. And I'm going to use a Morphe M562, which is this tiny blender. And I'm just going to tap some of the product over the blue. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to do the other eye, my complexion products, and then we will finish up my review by doing the under eye, and we will go from there. All right, guys, I am back. As you can see, I've done the other eye, and I have my complexion products on. So let's go ahead and finish up these eyeballs, and then I will give you my final thoughts. First things first, I just want to say, as you can see, this side is, it looks brighter, at least in person it does. I think what that is is... This did not oxidize. I think my brushes are dirty as fuck, and by the time I blended out that side, all that shit that was on there is now gone, and so this side blended out just fine. Also, my dumbass accidentally went into the shade Citrus Ginger, this one here. Um, so I did have to lighten up the yellow on this side, but yeah, that's why this eye is way brighter compared to this one, because I'm an idiot. So. Anyway, let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. What I'm, oh, I did line my eyes with, um, I'm going to do a full review on this collection, but the ColourPop Sunflower Liner, the gold shade, that shit's pretty. I've never used a ColourPop liner, so um, I did line my eyes with that. And what I'm going to do to start off on the under eye is go in to that shade Orange Carrot. And I'm going to take this Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper Brush. And I'm going to put that right up against that gold liner. It, I'm just going to let you guys know, it probably seems like I'm swearing a lot more than I ever used to. Um, I've decided in my videos that, <clears throat> excuse me, I am going to show you more of me. And I have a mouth on me. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you definitely know I don't present quite as ladylike, I guess. <laughs> if we're going to go with old gendered language, I don't present as ladylike as I do in my YouTube. I guess I wanted to maintain a level of professionalism and... I guess I feel like you can still be professional and swear. I swear all the time. Like, it's just, it's kind of who I am. And I don't want to hide that from you guys. I'm, I, I need to work on my vulnerability, and part of being vulnerable is just being me, and this is me. That's how I talk. So, if you don't like it, I totally understand. And if you don't want to hear that, I totally understand. But... It is me. So, that's that. Anyway, next I'm going to go back into the shade Turmeric Shot. No, actually, I'm going to do Ginger Bay. I'm going to do the lighter one. And I'm going to blend that into the Orange Carrot shade. And I'm just picking this up on, it's called a Color Revolution brush. I don't even know if this brush is made anymore. I got it in a kit that I had to purchase way back in uni days. To highlight the upper brow bone, I'm going to lightly go in to this lemon wheatgrass shade, and I'm going to be putting this on a Real Techniques little fan brush, and I'm just going in very lightly because that shade is very soft. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to do the same shade. 
these shimmers are so wet, I can't get over it. Last time I'm going to pop off camera, when I come back, I'm going to have lashes on and lipstick, and then we will do my final thoughts. See you soon, guys. Alright guys, this is the finished look. This is it. What do we think? Let me know down below. My lashes are from a company on Instagram called Tracy Cosmetics. I do have a discount code. It is listed down below, and this is the style Fierce. And then my lipstick is from Coven Cosmetics in the shade Pumpkin. I also have a code with them, which is listed down below. And then um, the gloss is from Wet n Wild. It's this one here. The My Melody Collection one. So anyway, let's go over what I think about this palette. I love it. I think it's actually very versatile. Um, I mean, you can do sunset looks. You can do, you know, contrasting looks like we did today. You can do, you know, neutral looks even if you just, like, use this shade. And then one of this, maybe this white, and then this gold here, you'll have a very neutral look. You can do neutral with a pop of color. There are a lot of options with this palette. You guys saw how it went on the eyes, at least in terms of the orange row. It blended really nice. Do let me know down below, do you guys want me to do like a three looks, one palette with this um, with this one here? I can definitely do that. Um, or if you just want this or just catch up on my Instagram, let me know down below what you think. If you want me to play with it more and film it, I definitely will. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Please do follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. I'm on Facebook, too, if you really want to be there. Um, but all of my usernames are Marie underscore 84, except for Facebook. My business page is just my name. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.